message. David Jones. We need Willie Nelson. We need to interview Willie Nelson. We need to, we need to work this out. <laughs> End of message. Kevin Jones and Steve Bounce, Ernie and the Stone Pickles. Snowboarding, I, I kind of ruined it a little bit because I did it too much. I, it, my whole world was snowboarding, and I kind of, I kind of ruined it for myself. So. And this year, I'm excited because I took a little bit of time off, and now I can go into it. Don't you know? I don't, I don't need sponsors anymore. I don't care about them. I just want to go snowboarding. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. That's not true, but <laughs> put it in there. <laughs> Or just go test the heli. Mando, you got a copy. 
my See that ELT right <laughs> under there? That's an emergency locate transmitter. The fire well, extinguisher is right there. First aid kit is right yeah, here yeah, under the back okay. seat. Okay. That tanker is full of full of uh, Jet B right there. We won't be going helling if it blows up. So don't kick the ship, okay? Um, other pros that are like really good personal riding friends of mine. Palmer and Farmer and Fowler and Johnny Burton. I know most of those guys zap a lot, a lot. <laughs> nice even layer of wax on there. Even? Yeah. And that, that iron sick layer. In between your edges, detune? Yeah. Sharpen? Yeah. Double? Please. Yeah. Fill that little crack in right there too. I'm gonna cut that. Dude, it's not a surfboard. You don't want to beat him. Man. <laughs> yes, sir. Kevin Jones. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he's an expert. Super good. Smooth on the jibs. Right on. Right on. I love him on the jibs. So effortless. Awesome. Amazing. Rad. Kevin. Kevin Jones. God damn, guys. I mean. Whoever the fuck Kevin so, Jones is, whatever. Yeah. Kevin's. American and I think snowboarding is lacking good American riders and you know Kevin is, is super super talented one of the best freestyle riders in America and it's oh I'm always proud to see good riders from the US. It came through in all of his footage that he was actually stoked on riding and stoked on learning and stoked on landing so that's what he brought to snowboarding. Not many people are were at that level like pushing and and inventing like he was. Well, I've been snowboarding since I was about 16, so about two years for decades. Then he kind of like evolved from, you know, this kid who could, you know, spin whatever he wanted to in the park to this kid who could spin whatever he wanted to on the hill. <laughs> you know, I thought we were trying to have an interview here, I mean. When I first got into snowboarding, it wasn't serious at all, really. It was just something to do to have fun. And uh, then the industry as it grew, kind of made it more serious, and then once you could make money or something, you know, then it got pretty serious, because you thought, oh, well, I can actually make a career out of this, that's kind of cool. Because in the beginning, it wasn't like it is today. It was, you got a free snowboard, you were pro. And balance, you know, pros have million dollar contracts. I don't, but the young bucks do. I think that most pro snowboarders today can't really ride a snowboard. Yeah, they can go 70 feet and do a backside nine, and I'm totally impressed with the progression of snowboarding. But guys like Kevin Jones and, and Jim Rippey and Noah Selaznick, Terry Hawkinson, those guys can actually ride a snowboard, like edge to edge control. And I think there's definitely a difference of the pros from Kevin's era to the pros today. 
in, in my opinion, the pros of Kevin's era, the, the earlier, slightly earlier, earlier era, can ride, actually ride a snowboard better. How's it feel? Like I gotta take a grab. Here. H E R E. <laughs> there you go, Tony. You have a wonderful afternoon. Be nice. Uh, how do you misspell your own? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why? Can I get you to draw a wiener on that? <laughs> this is exactly what mine looks like. Yeah. I rub your writing style. Because you already stomp technical head rate, big jump, very smooth. So when I stomp switch backside spin, I want to keep body axis flat but be cork automatic every time. Tell me how to approve to keep body axis flat. Hi, Harry Zaku, 17 year old man student. Hey dude. <laughs> get the foot up there, really get a good, yeah, really good. Hero, 21 years old girl student. Are you tripping on a zone or what? On, on what? Zone? Tripping on the zone, tripping on your 14 film crews here. It's all Kevin's fault. Edmund. Oh. Get your jump that day, or you land on a rock and it spooks you for three or four days. And 
The only time I've ever had a problem working with anybody in this industry has been people who aren't snowboarders themselves. You know, they think it's just like automatic, like you're a robot. It's not the case. He's a talented guy, you know. You want him as much time as you can have him on film because he just brings so much to the table on a, on a film project. Working with, with people like Kevin Jones is always, you know, it's pretty all time because not only does the guy have a lot of talent, but he has a lot of motivation and, and stoke. So as far as being a filmmaker and, and, uh, and having an optimum type of people to work with, he's definitely super high up on the list. Kevin Jones' goggles are working okay. He needs a pretty darn good run. Jones front side nine. Corks it, holds the grab, it's another double grab. And the male snowboarder of the year, Kevin Jones. I want to thank Metallica because they're sitting right over there. I'm working this hard and I'm not really making well, any money. It's like, you know, you know that's that's pretty interesting. But this is all about Jones right now. Um, Kevin, where's Kevin from? Is he from Mike Tahoe? Uh, Kevin, do you get any? Are these pants too tight? <laughs> you got any chapstick? Uh, yeah. Hold on. As the interviewer, I would want to be looking towards my key line. I heard that and he just fishes all the time. So it's a cool point, has like this. It's not so much a backside nine or, you know, a backside 270 onto a handrail with your jeans pulled down to your ass and trying to look all cool. For me, it's a guy like Kevin that like on the steeps, edge to edge turning, out running a slough and, you know, being able to actually ride their snowboard and trusting them in the backcountry to make good decisions and know where they're at. There's, for me, there's a huge difference between guys like Kevin and like the top guys of today. A lot of kids are just, they're pretty bleak. They just want to go ride rails and smoke out and they don't ever hit any jumps or anything. It's just like kind of ridiculous. Like, it's not really snowboarding. Last year you were like, You know, you're two pocketed at the end of the year, and next year you're, you know, you're... Oi, 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 oi! Message erased. Next message. Hi, 
I think Kevin really wanted to do one thing in snowboarding and his sponsors were pushing him to do another and I think that that kind of pushed him into like a burnout phase. It's got nothing to do with it. You guys roll off the back side of the bump, you shave it into a fucking razor blade and then it ain't the same to ski. The blues, you know, the groomed cruisers, yes, they go from yes. side to side and get in my way when I'm hauling ass. No, when you're shooting. No, I don't shoot, dude. I go like 65. <laughs> So you're hauling ass on a cruiser, yeah. and then I gotta get out of your way, kind of. That's How am I gonna get out of your way? If I Seriously. had a solution, I'd give it to you. Okay, I'm hauling ass here. You're not right. hauling ass, I'm hauling ass. Gonna I've taken many uphill. shits at ski resorts, and I've seen it. It's this, the man in front, it doesn't matter. You have to look out for the man coming, trying to grab you. So you're saying the man, the downhill man has to look out for the oh, uphill yeah. man? I agree. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Yeah.
tell you the truth, hopefully he goes fly fishing and like finds a love for snowboarding again. You know, because I gotta imagine he's gotta get a little burned out by this point. <laughs> I'd like to see Kevin come back and just do everything on a snowboard from riding pow turns to doing Johan style Alaska descents to doing handrails and doing kickers and kind of mix it all up because he's he's one of the few guys who can actually put it all together. When you have a lot of ability and, and you push yourself to a certain level no matter what it is and anything that you do in life then it makes it that much easier to do it in another aspect of life so. I think Kevin's going to be doing great at whatever he does. Welcome to five, four, three, eight, six, five, nine, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Right. I don't have any Billabong logos going, so I, I know you that. Have you have a last one. Thank you. Here, fill it up. How's the audio Thank with you? you? That was a save! Cat needs a butt! Nobody deny me. This is good breathing. Dingo, you want to breathe? So the movie's... So, uh, actually, the movie's about um, some retard hanging out for a couple years. 10, 15, 2, a decade. However long hung out. The sound was low at the show. My ring, it blings all night long. It was hard to keep the millions of people away from this uh, premiere. Yeah. It, it was hard actually to find a face that I knew actually here in Mammoth because there's been. Uh... You're a chicken, dude. All right. Are you sure? You gotta pee? Yeah, I gotta go. Alright. Right. So Dingo, how the hell did you get uh, this job knowing that you don't even have a visa and uh, you showed up in Mammoth about four years ago and you were about two years old? Yeah, I was... Yeah, uh, that, that's great. And uh, so, what do you feel about the, the new riders here in Mammoth? Uh, no, I think... Yeah, I think that when you really pin down his career as a commentator, um, how do you feel that the riders here in Mammoth, because they're, they're all HC, right? That stands for... I don't even know what HC stands for. Hardcore, man. Oh, hardcore. Well, that would that'd be HCM. But okay. the hardcore, HC stands for hardcore. So, are you selling out? Um, no, yeah, I could be selling out, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, uh, it looks like uh, Eddie Wall has just uh, appeared onto the bus to uh, congratulate Kevin on his new movie, Kevolution. What do you think, Eddie Wall? Uh, the tools pretty much put together the best tools of all tools. If it, if it wasn't for Kevin Jones, I probably wouldn't even be able to have, make a living off snowboarding. So I owe a lot to this guy over here. He helped me out so much. So, uh, yeah, I, owe, I have a lot of gratitude for this, this big guy over here. What do you mean? I'm gaining weight? No, no. <laughs> it's just a jacket, man. Yeah. And um, I was still a nighttime janitor, you know, and uh, Kevin Kevin introduced himself, super nice guy, and we ended up riding a bunch, so that was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do powder lines in AK this year. That's a big, that's a big claim. Are you serious? Yeah, I, yes, I'm dead serious. But uh, I need to, you know, get... <laughs> <laughs>